The number one question. Can't I sell electricity back to the grid? Isn't there a program that's set up for that? The answer is yes! I have a whole explanation for you. I've made this beautiful little diagram for you. All right, so the process is called net metering. It's pretty simple actually, and it explains to how solar works. This works for businesses and homes. It depends where you're located though, in terms of the actual dollar amount value, which today I'm just gonna be talking about uh, the DMV area. But most states have this policy. But it just depends, you gotta look at it. So, the way it works. Right now you have a meter on your house or business and that's connected into the grid to coal, natural gas, uh, nuclear in most areas, and then a whole myriad of different like little renewable energy sources. Solar is one. Solar is like a little slice right now, but it's about to be a much bigger slice. Uh, in Pepco in DC, you get about 29% of your electricity from coal, believe it or not, which is pretty disgusting. Another 25% from natural gas, which is has been labeled the transition fuel, which I don't know how, how realistic that really is because uh, it produces methane, which is the most damaging to any kind of, or to, for greenhouse emissions. So I don't know really how, how much I agree with the transition fuel, but be that as may, that's your three primary energy sources. You got coal, about 30%, natural gas, 30%, and, uh, Nuclear about 30%. I don't want to get into nuclear, but nuclear is just super scary. It's too expensive uh, It's also takes too long to build the power plants So it's just not going to really be an option moving forward So this video again, I'm going to explain to you how You sell electricity back into the grid. It's pretty simple So again, you have a meter on the side of your house. It's connected into energy sources when you have solar panels, you have a new meter that rolls forwards and backwards. So right now, if your home or business is not solar powered, you just have a meter that's rolling in. And your bill, if you're in this area, Pepco bill comes in the mail, and it's based off of how many kilowatt hours you consumed and how many times that meter turns. If you look at your utility bill, on your second page of that, you'll see where uh, the kilowatt hour number is located. Your bill comes every month, it's determined how many times that meter spent. Now, when you have solar, you have a new meter that rolls forwards and backwards. Very simple here. During the daytime, when it's sunny out, it's my sun that I drew, hits the solar panels, produces kilowatt hours, produces power. You use that power directly from the solar panels during the daytime. Right now, my house is solar powered. I'm using kilowatt hours directly from my solar panels. But on nice days, whenever you're not using a lot of electricity or just nice days in general, typically you sell energy back. You produce an excess amount of electricity. So again, you use the electricity directly from the solar panels that you need, but whenever you have solar, you have a special meter that rolls backwards and forwards. So during the daytime, when your 
panels are producing power, it goes into your main panel directly, you use what you need, and then you sell excess back into the grid. This is the meter. So this is your home or business, solar panels. This is your meter. So when you're overproducing, your meter's rolling backwards. And you're sending things back into the grid. Every time you spin it backwards, Pepco buys that electricity from you. Every time it rolls forwards, like when the sun goes down, when it snows, when it rains, it pulls in from the grid. You want to not pull so much from the grid over here. So you got the sun, the biggest energy source known to man. You got solar panels over here, produce clean energy, no emissions. You want to generate all your power from the solar panels or as much as possible to where you sell excess back into the grid over here so you're not pulling in from coal. This is clean over here, this is dirty. This is coal. It's my little coal fire plant. It barrels up smoke in the atmosphere, causes bad things. You got clean trees over here. You got dirty burnt trees over there, future. So again, net metering explained. During the daytime when your solar panels produce power, you use that electricity directly from the solar panels and then the excess is sold back into the grid through the net meter and it's sent to Pepco or your utility company and they buy that electricity from you. When the sun goes down, then that meter clicks forward and then you're pulling back from the grid. Right now, this is the way solar is set up. And you don't need a battery storage capability. Although there are batteries, you have Tesla batteries, power walls, chem batteries, there's a lot of different batteries in the market. But this is really how the setup works. And this is how you sell electricity back into the grid. Today is a very special day because I am collecting even more than what I'm selling back. I'm close to two megawatts here. This is my in phase account. I'm at 1.96 megawatts. So I've got one S rack. My second one is about to happen in real time, maybe four minutes or four kilowatt hours, but I'm hoping like in just a couple minutes, but my system's pumping out right now. So right now I'm selling electricity back into the grid, right? And they buy it, Pepco buys it for 11 cents. And then whenever they deliver electricity at nighttime, they deliver it for free. It's kind of like a net meter, so it calculates the net. The, uh, the uh, goal here is to go net zero. So you sell enough to Pepco during the daytime that they deliver it to you for free. This is my masterpiece. I'll probably put this up on my wall 